Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. I'm here today to make a quick video and give you some inspiration, tips and tricks about keeping your tarot game flexible. So this video I hope will be useful for people who are just learning tarot or learning to use tarot and trying to develop and really hone in on their skills. But I think that these are also useful tips for people who are pros and people who've been uh, practicing tarot for a long time. One of the things that I see that happens with people who have been reading tarot for many, many years is that they kind of become set in their ways. They latch on to one definition for particular cards and they stick with it and they might lose their flexibility um, when it comes to uh, being fluid in interpretations or being open to different interpretations, especially um, when it comes to an entire spread or an entire layout and how the individual cards affect each other and what that story looks like. Um, so I've got some really brief and really simple tips and tricks to help you get back into that flexibility or uh, maintain that flexibility in your practice. And I'm going to show you a couple of books, and they're not um, complicated books. They're really simple kind of beginner's books. And the first one that I have is from the Predictions Library, and it's just called Tarot. It's from the Predictions Library. Okay, um, they make a whole series of books. This is by David V. Barrett, or Barrett. I believe his name would be Barrett. Um, they're all by David Barrett because I have one for numerology too. And those, these are just, these are a series of books for beginners. They're very, very simple, very basic. I, I think a lot of people who are professionals who, or who are really skilled would, wouldn't even look twice at a book like this, right? And that's one of the points that I'm making. Like, don't be so advanced or think that you're so advanced that you're not open to learning new things or you're not open to refreshing yourself with the basics. So another book that I want to show you is The Tarot Bible by Sarah Bartlett. I've been reading this a lot lately and I really enjoy it. Um, and what I'm, the reason I'm showing you these books is because one thing that it's really great to do is to pull a card and compare the definitions from two different books for those cards and really let that kind of information sink into you. Many, many different books have different definitions. Many different um, philosophies of tarot have different definitions for the cards and how you should read them and what they mean. Um, there's a lot of information out there and in this kind of, I view tarot as a spiritual practice and in this kind of spiritual practice, um, you don't want to close yourself off to anything. You want to be able to discern for yourself what works for you and what doesn't. So you get to make the final judgment about which pieces of the puzzle fit together for you and what makes sense for you. And the more you open yourself up to different kinds of different different kinds of definitions and different kinds of information, the more fluid you can become in your reading so that you know um, what fits the most for your client and for that particular reading. It's a, it's a way of kind of internalizing this information so that the, the right thing can come out of you at the right moment. Um, I believe that some people are afraid to open themselves up to different information because they have found one definition or a particular set of books, a particular set of authors or experts that really resonates with them and they feel that opening themselves up to other information is just going to confuse them. But I don't think that's the case. I think that, the, that having a wide variety of information is only going to help you become more skilled and more open-minded and help you apply that wealth of knowledge to all kinds of different situations, scenarios, and circumstances. Um, you're going to encounter all kinds of different clients. You're going to encounter all kinds of different learning experiences in your own lives. And one set of information, one um, philosophy is just not going to fit everything. It's not going to fit everything for you personally throughout your whole life of growing and developing un unless you remain stagnant. 
and it's not going to fit for all of the wide variety of other people and situations that you're going to encounter. So I've been having a lot of fun comparing the different definitions in these two books. Um, and then one other thing that I like to do is compare different cards. And the, the, the more different, the better. Um, I've got two decks of cards that are vastly different. So this Two of Cups is from the Ghetto Tarot from Haiti. And then this Two of Cups is the, from the Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch Tarot, the Surrealist Painter. I don't know. There, I think that's a better view of it. I mean, look how different these cards are. I hope you can see both of them. Those paint a wildly different story from each other, right? So it's kind of fun to look at these cards and um, look at them in an intuitive way. I'm not saying throw out all of the book definitions. I'm not saying throw out all of the philosophies. When I say look at these in an intuitive way, I just mean that as an exercise for yourself. Like look at these cards one at a time and look at the picture that they're painting. Look at the story that the images are telling you. Look at um, how it affects you uh, emotionally. Um, what kind of psychological symbols it makes you think of. Things of that nature and compare the two see what's different and see what's similar. Um, it's the similarities that are going to be really interesting. A lot of times, you know, these cards have more than one definition. They are, they're multifaceted. You're going to, it's like two sides of the same cone, coin. They're going to have um, negative and positive attributes, right? So that, that, it can be really useful to discern those negative and positive attributes through comparing different decks because different decks will have wildly different feels to them. I do have um, more esoteric tarot books. These are not the only you know tarot books that I would ever recommend using but for these kind of exercises to keep your mind flexible in using the tarot I recommend really simple books like this. I recommend um, not overlooking them, not being above this kind of simple basic knowledge. And especially if you've been reading tarot for a really long time, it may be good to go back and refresh yourself on the basics and remind yourself of where you started or where tarot started. Something else that I've been doing on a daily basis, and I think a lot of people do this, but um, I haven't always done it and I've been finding it really useful, is I draw a tarot card each day and I simply read the definition from the book and I, I don't, let me rephrase that, I don't simply read the definition, I meditate on the definition, but I'm specifically using the Tarot Bible to do that. I'm going to show it to you one more time. The Tarot Bible by Sarah Bartlett. Um, I'm meditating on her definitions every day. I draw a card, I meditate on what is the spiritual guidance for me that day? What should I most be um, contemplating, focusing on, and kind of um, learning about or applying to my life as I go about my day? And then I meditate on her definition or, or the definition that she uses of those cards. And I find it really useful. And one of the reasons it's re really useful is because she talks about different facets. She talks about negative and positive facets. She talks about if what the card means if it were in a blockage position, what the card means if it were in a future position, what the card means if it were in a present position. She also talks about keywords and phrases in, a diff, in addition to interpretation. So I find that really useful. And I hope that you find this information useful and inspirational. Um, maybe if you're, you're in a rut with your tarot practice or if you're just starting to learn tarot, you can use some of these exercises to help develop your skills and develop your connection to the cards. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions about anything I've mentioned here or you'd like me to elaborate on anything here, I'm always happy to answer your questions or elaborate on anything in an additional video. So please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks again and stay blessed.